Good morning, Chapel Hill. This is Stephanie Powell. I'm one of the preschool directors here. I am bringing you your morning devotion. Um, today's devotion is titled, Do Everything in Love, which is a verse straight from the Bible. And that is simply what it says, is do everything in love. And that is 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 14. And um, the reason I want to talk with you about this today is because um, the world is watching how Christians react to things, particularly like the coronavirus, among many, many, many other things. The world is always watching how Christians react because they want to know if God and Jesus is who we say they are. Um, I have seen a lot of posts on social media where people are having some very strong opinions about what is going on in the world and that's okay we're allowed to have our opinions but how we share that and how we reflect that matters very much because is it loving um loving is pointing to the father Anything that you do, that you do in love, will point the other person to the Father, which is ultimately our goal at the end of the day. And there's so much in the Bible that talks about love and loving others and how we should do this. There's a whole chapter in Corinthians, Corinthians um, chapter 13. You can read all about love there. First John, the book of First John, there's so many things about love. And I have several Bible verses and to go over with you today and that tells us how to love others. Um, first, we just need to know that we love because he first loved us. And that is what 1 John 4.19 says. That we love because he first loved us. And think about that deeply. He loved us so much he sent his son to die for us. So um, that is a deep love. And because he did that for us, we are supposed to love others. And sometimes that's so hard because people are so difficult. And there's a mindset that if we don't agree that we can't get along, we can't be friends, we don't like each other because we don't agree. And that's simply not true. If you're in um, a personal relationship with anyone that you love deeply, you have disagreed with them at some point and still love them. And why is that so hard for us to do whenever it's a stranger? We shouldn't be arguing and fighting. We should be loving and pointing others to the Father so that He can lavish His love on them too and they can feel that because He loves them just as much as He loves us. I don't know yet if you know what your gift from God is. We all have different sets of gifts. The one thing that we always have, though, is love. We always have the ability to love others. 1 John 4, 16 says, And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. And whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. So if you have God in you, you have love in you. We have the ability to show others love. And let's say when we're cooking dinner for our families, when you do that, do it in love. Do everything in love. If you return the shopping cart at Walmart to the correct space when you're finished with it outside, do it in love. And these things are so simple and small, but they're things that we don't even think about. Um, if someone's having a bad day and you shoot them a smile, do it in love because you love them and want them to feel better. If you're ironing your husband's clothes or your wife's clothes for that matter, um, do it in love, even if you're angry with them. And a good friend of mine taught me that once. Um, I've had several lessons in loving people when it's difficult and it has been very hard for me sometimes and I'm sure that you've encountered this as well but at the end of the day the Bible says that love conquers all and it covers a multitude of sins so no matter what you're doing big or small do everything in love 
And I want to leave you with this because my mind was so blown over something so simple. And I'm behind on things sometimes. So you might have already known about this for quite some time, but I just learned it within the last six months. Um, my 16 year old daughter had a bracelet on that said HWLF. And if you remember a long time ago, there was a saying, WWJD what would Jesus do? And I guess at that time, it was like a rhetorical question. In any circumstance that you encountered, you would just say, well, what would Jesus do? How would he react to this situation? Well, now there is an answer, and it's just the simplest answer, which brings me back to the bracelet that said H-W-L-F. He would love first. So, in any and all circumstances, if you are wondering what would Jesus do, he would always love first. He would love first. And that is just so simple. And um, my mind was blown, like I said, over that. And I just, I love it. So in any and all things from here on out, I will say, what would Jesus do? He would love first and we can pray and ask him to help us with those, especially in difficult situations. So that is the end of my devotion. Thank you for letting me share with you today. And I would love to pray with you. So if you will pray with me, dear Lord, we just thank you. And we, we love you so much, Lord. And we thank you for the love that you have for us and for others. And um, I pray, Lord, that you would help us to love people even when it's difficult, um, love people even in circumstances that feel impossible, Lord, that you would supernaturally teach us how to love others the way that you do, Lord, because um, it's such a great and wonderful love that you have, and we want to spread that to others. We want, we want our love to point people to you, Lord. So help us with that. And just thank you so much for everything you're doing. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Bye, you guys.